Hello everyone, welcome to Elucidations, my name is Jayla Cavalier. Today I wanted to talk about something really serious. Some of you probably already knew about this, but after doing some personal browsing on the trusty internet, I came across an event that recently happened in Tennessee. On Monday, March 19th of 2012, Governor of Tennessee Bill Hasland signed into action a law that requires educators to teach theories like biological evolution, global warming, the Big Bang, chemical evolution, human cloning, and the Human Genome Project as scientific controversies, rather than scientific theories. I feel that this bill is detrimental to scientific research. It encourages the students to look at some of these harmless theories as controversial, although there really are no controversies to be had since they're just theories and not facts. You see, science teachers or at least competent ones, never require their students to accept these theories as factual. It's actually against the law for them to do so. If you personally choose not to believe in theories like evolution or the Big Bang, then you don't have to believe in them. You have the right to do that in this country. This doesn't mean that they shouldn't be presented to you, however, since they would only be presented to you in a science class and the theories are accepted by most scientists. I think we should be outraged by this. Most theories that are alternative to these scientific theories, or now scientific controversies happen to be theories of divine creation. Well, if you're not going to accept these scientific theories, then you don't really have many other choices, honestly. However, if you walked into a church and called their theories of creation controversial, you would be kicked out faster than you can even say amen. Why is it okay for us to present these theories as controversial? It's just a theory, and it's open to interpretation. It's not a fact. No true scientist would say that evolution is a fact, or that the Big Bang Theory is a fact. They're not facts because we don't have all the data we need to conclude them as facts. Until we have that data, we can't say that these theories are true. The only reason these scientists choose to believe in these theories as opposed to theories of divine creation is because these theories have repeatable experiments, evidence, and observations. After reading about this bill, now coined the Tennessee Monkey Bill after the Tennessee Monkey Trial of 1925 when a high school biology teacher was put into prison for teaching the theory of evolution in a high school, I found out about another bill that was signed into legislation on the same day. On March 19th of 2012, Governor of Tennessee Bill Hasland signed into action Bill Number HB 2658, and the bill passed in the Tennessee House by a vote of 93 to 3. That's a very big majority, people. This particular bill allows the Ten Commandments of Judeo-Christian faith to be put up in public buildings. This includes schools, hospitals, and government offices like the state capitol. You know what I have to say to that law? Amendment Number 1 of the Constitution of the United States of America. You know what it says in the First Amendment of the Constitution? Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. You see, church and state are separated by federal law. Religion is a private affair and has no purpose in a public affair like the Tennessee state law. The second you have a religious bias that starts to affect the law of a state, you're taking away the freedom of religion. Imagine a young Buddhist, Hindu, or Muslim student who has the freedom to believe in and practice his or her own belief system. Now imagine that this same student attends a public school in Tennessee. Since this bill has been passed and signed into legislation, the Ten Commandments of the Judeo-Christian God could be staring in his face as he walks down the hall. If I were this student, I would feel extremely left out. I would feel excluded. I would potentially even feel hated. How can you present one religion if you can't present all the others? How is that freedom of religion? I think both of these laws are despicable. Something needs to be done about it for the sake of the educational system of this country. So what am I gonna do about it? I can't do much by myself, obviously, I'm just one person. But what if we united a bunch of people for this common cause? On June 1st, Let's all write a letter to Governor Haslan asking him to reconsider the legislation of these two bills, which both impede on the advancement of scientific research and impede on the First Amendment rights of American citizens. Save the date, June 1st. I'll be waiting there to write my own letter to him as well. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Jayla Cavalier. Let's do this.